Oh, this is new. Well, the idea is this, right? When I cut this into two, it will create a pellet so I can eat and then grow. And that's the idea. I don't know if I should start with this, but I'm going to anyway, because I still need to eat two more pellets. Yeah, look at how that slices. Not too big a fan of that slice. So hear me out, all right? What if I reset just by bringing this worm over? Wait, what happens if I cut while socked? Oh, it actually doesn't let me. Interesting. Hmm, do you guys see the hidden shape? I see the hidden shape. I think this puzzle actually only works, though, if I get this out of the way and then push the C through first. It's not C through, I'm just pushing the C through. I think I actually got to roll it in just so I can get out. Because my next step was then crossing to be able to get this worm back, pushing it into the water. This way, when I split the three along, all of the uh, pellets or the food pieces will actually be floating, as you can see here. I guess not floating, but standing on top of the dead worms. Also a cool puzzle. Yeah, it's got some neat wrinkles in it, making me think. It's actually awesome that I didn't really ruin these puzzles for myself. I mean, sure, I may have ruined one potential shock. But I also kind of got the shock anyway. And frankly, yeah, this feels like it could be a puzzle element eventually too. But I'll go through the door right now. Let me in. See what else is in this worm. More slicing. So I've got to become eight long and I'm four long. So I've got to do a lot of slicing. But I need to eat four things of food. So if I start like this, I can push that off. I have to think about what foods I'm eating. So the... Parts of the long snake, well, previously long snake, they're horizontal. I don't see myself ever eating. So I would want to push them in the water, but if I were to separate just the horizontal pieces, I would actually push the vertical pieces in the water. So I must then flip this first, and I must sock it from up here, then flip. But I may be a little stuck now. Yes, because if I want to move this back, all I do is push the vertical into the water. Let me back up. Can I sock from here? This seems pretty far away. No, that's sockable. Oh, and I can flip it, and I can back out. I just have to be careful my own self. Keep backing out, because I can continue to push this up. Now, however, I may have screwed up. I feel like I have a lot of right ideas, but just wrong orders. Because I needed to do this sort of thing. And now I need to either vertically or horizontally flip it. And that actually might be a little easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier to flip it now, because I can... Eh, no, that still doesn't work. Hold on. What if I go back to when I was still inside it and do this? Ah, I can flip it like that, because I'm just the right size. And now, I can do the split I want. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just launch that in, because I can then use these uh, two longs, one, is a, one at a time, uh, for food. Actually, I guess I can use them both. Grow me. Neat. There you go, the perfect sock flip. So using a little bit of advanced sockage, but that was pretty simple sockage, if I'm being completely honest. This puzzle doesn't have a start. Where do you start? Unless if this giant puzzle is the whole start. I can't yeet my rings that far. Must I yeet from the side? Bounce in! What a tease! And I can't cut my can open on the fence either. Can I knock over a Christmas tree? All right, I'm out of ideas. Let's try the other puzzles. This one looks small and easy, but it's probably anything but. How on earth do that I get to that goal? So it's a three size goal. I'm a five size worm. So I have an idea. This worm wants to be socked, but it's not that easy. Like if I back up here, sock the worm, I could flip. This isn't quite what I want to accomplish. I want my tail to be sticking down. Let me back up, try some other ideas. I suppose one thing I can do with this worm is set it up there. And when I flip, oh, actually that might be the solution. When I flip, I knock a piece there. And now I actually am the appropriate size to be able to sock this worm in full, but then I can't take it anywhere. What I wanted to do was cut off my own tail. But if I'm to cut off my own tail, it has to be right here somehow. I don't know what that would entail. See, I 
can cut that off a little longer. I can get a piece there, but that's a little off. If I was to do this with the worm. Oh, interesting. Hold on. How would I be able to rotate on this worm in order to get the pellets right there? Okay. That means I'm going to reset, okay? Because that maneuver I just did, I want to do second. First maneuver has to be with this big guy. So I can't cut off both of me. If I can push this worm up here, then do a maneuver. Oh, that looks really tough to pull off. I think it looks like this. I want this shape. Can't really describe it because now if I flip, that's where the piece goes. Which means I can do the maneuver I was talking about earlier right here. That's wrong. Probably because I need to wrap around this way. There we go. That's the path I need. All right. Very carefully slicing off my own tail. Just a little bit of worm meat. Well, how about this puzzle, huh? I have to grow twice. Growing once is easy. Getting that second dot in the middle? Not so easy. I guess it's technically possible to get it first. See, the bottom pellet can be eaten if I want to eat it first. And let me show how. First, I push this out of the way. Then I just gotta go in and eat it. And I'm out. Now the question is, can I get a second pellet? I would imagine that's where the slicing comes in. Now I think I gotta do some flipping in order to make it work. And honestly, that might be a flip that I need. Because I'm pretty sure with some tricky maneuvers, I can get here and then flip it again. I wonder if I should have done that first. I think I'd like to do that first all of a sudden. As in, flip this around and push it over very far. Because I can do exactly the same thing, except there's a little bit in the water. So now when I push this out of the way, it stays up and I can retrieve it quite easily. All right, absolutely crushing these. And yet another room for the snake. More puzzles await. I apparently can only get three more of this symbol. So one would be from each of these octagons. Then can I get through the door? I can. And there would be one more from this room. Okay, I see now. Wait a second though. Once again, I don't see the starting point. Interesting. So maybe the three left are referring to the two in this room and then the one I couldn't really access. I'm gonna have to try more at that. That is so strange. Ooh, I am a huge worm. So a little self slicing and this two tiny two worm is gonna have to be the most convenient bridge of all time. So I am length 14. So I got to make myself length four and length 10. And then somehow I got to get to the goals. How on earth do I get to that four long goal? I have one theory. And this is actually kind of interesting because it involves a double eat. I split myself up into 10 and a 4, and the 4 has to be the shape of the C, but mirrored. And then I eat that C, and with my leftover space, eat the 2, and then flip with the C, having it land on its spot. So how on earth do I set that up? I gotta do some very creative worm play, but I think the first thing I can at least do and feel alright doing is getting this too long worm into position. And the position would be right here, because this is where I actually sock it. Now, I've got to backtrack, because I have to think backwards here. If I want to create the C, I got to first make it, and then move myself? No, this would just go around the fence. Oh, I have to make it on the other side. I have to make the C way over here. So I got to figure out where the C would be pre and post flip. If it's post flip here, it would be exactly on the target. So I make the C on the target. That is convenient. Then I eat. Hold on, though. I got to make sure that's the end of my snake. So I got to do a little maneuver and then flip. Good math, Tyler. Oh, I didn't calculate the fact that the sausage, not the sausage, the worm moves over one. Okay, that's easily fixable. I simply need to make the C be one lower right there. Although the issue with it was that I just didn't predict that I would move up. Hold on, let's back that up again. I think I had it right earlier. If I do it from up here, does it still work? I think so, right? Just gotta extend it a little. Yeah, this is it. Finally. So now I gotta roll this back into position and get the C into position. Right there. So then I eat the C 
And I... No! Wait, wait, wait. No, this is very fixable. I have to eat the sea from the bottom so that when I finish eating the sea, I have room to make it here. This is all I need. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Because now the sea is in. Awesome. Can't I just win now? This was actually way less intimidating than I thought. I just needed to make that one break and that solves the puzzle. This was a really good puzzle, actually. The thinking backwards and the just the pattern of getting it, that was really cool. Damn, actually, if I had to pick one puzzle so far as my favorite, you know, not counting the shock values at one, it might be that one. That was really good. This one's interesting. I have the correct size, but I can't get to my goal because it's blocking me. So do I have to slice myself open somewhere? Possibly. But then I will also need to regrow in size at some point. I suppose what I could do is figure out the exact size I need to be able to get by. Because I have to push this worm up and then come around and push it down. So I would need to be a size 4 or maybe 5 worm in order to do so. 4 or 5. So I just need to cut off that many pellets and leave them on the other side of this fence. I'll push this over a little. Maybe to here. Nah, I gotta be... Make sure everything fits. If I do this, I cut off two, but this is gonna just take some very strange maneuvering. If I make this sort of shape with my worm and flip, there we go, that's one little piece off. So then I rinse and repeat, but have it coming at separate areas. So I'm almost thinking this column is the one that gets sliced off, so I just need to have exactly one piece in there. And then the rest can kind of, yeah, move around like that. So I'm like six. Now I'll keep backing out and doing it, doing it again. Like five now. And now can make this shape. Well, now I'm like four. So this certainly solves the puzzle. Five was possible. Four is certain. Also a great puzzle. Yeah, really good logic behind these. It's definitely hard to verbalize, but it is possible to understand my thought process just by watching, at least. Right, so this was an inaccessible puzzle. Let me go back then. What is the deal with this? The absolute tease on this puzzle, I swear. To be honest, I don't think you can do this one. How about I go check out the cockpit? And with this, I have another worm at my disposal. Only 13 out of... Oh, out of 13 moves. Well, no, that's just because I have completed 13 puzzles. Well, the game is calling me here. I think it makes sense to follow the siren song of the game at this point now. I trust it well enough. What puzzles lie ahead? That's a small worm. Can't wait to figure out all these secrets. The door is open to a new world. I don't know what I'm to expect as far as mechanics go, but I do see cactus. I like cactus. So what's this puzzle all about anyway? Introduced to a ton of worms. I'm a four long worm. I imagine I have to get in the four long worm hole and get two worms into two worm holes, but these look damn near impossible. For starters, what can I even do? Like I move around here, I've already lost. I guess I could double sock. Oh, what happens if I cut myself here? Oh, it's a socked worm. Actually looking like a sausage now. Whoa, this is weird. What happens if I try to eat it? It's a fat worm. No, it just gets pushed around. Can it go into goals now? Like, just for example, does it fit? No, it's too fat. Hold on, though. I see what this may be trying to set me up for. With this, what if I do it again, but I become one size? Oh, I can't. The game simply refuses. That's good to know. I imagine... Ah, I imagine, though, if I want to regrow my size, I got to slice that and then eat its remains. Let me not stuff that in my mouth. I forgot about that mechanic. So I feel like the solution is very close now. I gotta use this as a bridge. And then get these nice small worms into their rightful place. Interesting. So introducing the fat worm. The worm cocoon, if you will. Okay, so again I got a double sock, right? Yeah, I don't see any other option. Because otherwise I can't move. So now I got a size 2 worm, a size 2 worm, and a long worm. Question, can I push the fat worm into a fence, therefore cutting it? Slice? Nope, it is too big to be sawed in half. Well, so I bet I could use it as a barrier. Let me show you what I mean. If I push it right here, it doesn't fall in and it doesn't fall back. So then when I take this long worm, 
and come up to it. I can sock it and then flip it, solving the puzzle. The rest is fairly trivial, but I'm learning a lot about these fat worms. And if I go this way, are there more puzzles? No, it is a starting area. All worms must go to the big thing in the middle. Yeah, there is that wormhole in the middle. I'm curious if going in there creates an ending or unlocks a meta world. Either way, I don't feel like I want to go in until I've completed all the worms. Well, another fat worm puzzle. I'm glad that there's still lots of new mechanics I haven't even considered yet. Wow, this is like really simple. I'm the perfect size for fitting into this goal. All I gotta do is somehow get this tiny two worm into its goal. Alright, so I have an idea right now. I want to take this worm, bring it down so that I can very easily eat it and then also eat another... No, 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 that has to wait. First, I gotta eat it. Then I gotta roll it. The bad news is I back off and fall. I will instead bring the worm here. So then I can flip it more easily because I think I gotta set up once again some sort of double eat. Now, am I ever going to slice myself? Also, this doesn't work how I thought it would. Because I'm thinking I got to get this worm out of the way somehow. Oh. Oh, it's that easy. Wait. What the hell is the point of this worm, then? Oh, I get it. Without that worm, let's say I eat this. Look at where my tail is. I can't do anything now. I'm stuck. So I got to have that worm still be eaten first. Let me mess around more with the idea of this worm. What if I back it up against that wall and then flip here? Okay, hold on. I think this worm needs to be flipped in multiple ways. Or at the very least, it just needs to be flipped in the most obvious way. The issue is that I don't have space to rotate right now. And if I keep messing around, I still don't have space to rotate. What if I'm fixating too much on the bendy worm right now? There's a lot of things to think about, so I gotta get them in order. What if I have to just accept I'm losing one part of my tail? Well, the issue is I'm still stuck, so I'm nearly positive I need to double sock. I just remembered that with my current length, I can probably use myself to prop up a socking. Like that. So I can flip this worm like that. And then can I eat these in tandem? No, because again, look at where it slices. Well, if I could use my current worm as a base, I don't need to rotate like that. What I need to do is rotate it like this, set up this position that I was talking about, and then again use my worm as a solid wall to push off of. It may, however, only work from here. I actually don't see how to get it to work from the other way. Because, yeah, this way, I can try to... Ah! You see that? It still rolled to push the worm in, but it bounced off the fence because Fat Worm to the rescue. Okay, Fat Worm is unkillable. You may try to kill Fat Worm, but he will outlive you. I love you, Fat Worm. Let's see what other kind of puzzles you have for me. Oh, I'm a long worm. I got to eat to escape. This is interesting. Actually, I really got to eat to escape. So I got to go and eat this guy. Flip. And then if I just need to grow by two, I can't slice fat worm, but I bet I can slice the smaller portion of them. So I could separate the fat worm from the non-fat worm if I do that. And I may eat a little, but that's not enough. And the only other fence I can push this into is right here, but there's no room. So I almost gotta reset, see if I need to actually make this eat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these moves are forced. Just double checking, I can't do anything else. This is a forced start. Oh, so maybe I gotta rotate this uh, horizontally first. Or even better yet, I could just flip this and cut off the fat worm with the flip. Like if I flip like that, but a little lower, there could be some merit. Just a shame that pushing one lower doesn't let me flip then. Well, I might have been on the right track actually, um, cutting this off first. Because I realize another thing I can do is prop up Fat Worm against that fence, sock here, eh, from the other side so I can flip like that. That honestly might be all that I need. Because I can push it down here, push it over one. There we go. And I'm the length I want. Flipping a Fat Worm. Yeah, I, I like this mechanic. It definitely does feel early mid-game-ish. It's like, oh, this is moderately interesting. 
I will say my brain is slightly tainted by seeing some of the possibly late game stuff. Technically, I don't know. That could be mid game for all I know. So I guess it doesn't really matter. That is one wiggly worm. Tell me, what is stopping me from just splitting this worm in two, socking it to get out of there, and then pushing it across? I know where this is going. It's going to fall right in there. So I feel like I got to fat worm my way across the gap. The thing is, I still have to cut myself into pieces like this. And then the weird thing is I got to split this here just in order for me to be able to sock this worm fully. So I can make it here now. Fat worm don't fall in. I've already lost, huh? Okay, uh, wow. Well, hold on. I have an idea. I just need to set up my own fat worm, just like how the levels have set it up for me. I've made myself small, but I can grow back to be big, and now I can become fat. So what's good about this is that I actually have a fat worm I can push into a good spot now. And does this... Well, I'm still stuck. Oh, but that doesn't matter. Because I can just regrow now. Aha! There we go. Fat worm to the rescue. I gotta figure out exactly where I want this fat worm. Probably at the edge. Just don't accidentally fall in. Because that way I can actually get around this worm, push it in, and then go and win. There we go. Fat worm saves the day again. These puzzles seem a lot easier than the previous world, or I'm just in a better mindset. It's hard to say. This one seems really tough. How on earth do I get a worm all the way out there? In fact, there's no fence, so it's not like I'm cutting off fat worm. I'm length nine? Do I reach? I do reach from here. And I certainly reach from here with two length to spare. So to be honest, I don't even know where to start. This feels like another long distance flipping puzzle like that other one. I had to break this down, right? I'm a nine length worm. So if I was to flip this three length worm a long distance, this would actually have to be the first thing I eat. So this would actually be situated in my tail. So I would have three length of this plus six more length of me. So what I'm thinking is if the elbow macaroni piece is right here, I would have to have the other elbow macaroni piece be right here. So I could have that be the last thing I eat. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine somewhere for good measure. But the question is, how do I get myself to have eaten this elbow macaroni piece out on this island? I guess it's like a double flip. Let's just ignore the eating of this elbow macaroni for now. Get in the water. I want to work with just this worm. If I first flip it like that, then I can assemble it into position to do a double flip. As in, my first flip is here, and then I have to have room to back out and push it over here. And the second flip would look a little bit more like this. And now it looks like we're getting somewhere. Oh, this is funny though. I actually can't flip back because my head is floating. And frankly, the piece that I'm eating is just held on by me. Considering that I flip from my head, it's impossible to flip back. But the idea is I flip both horizontally and vertically with that elbow piece. And I guess it could actually be this elbow piece that does it. This is primed to flip both horizontally then vertically. And I guess the other elbow piece happens to be in the correct orientation so that if I were to not do anything at all with it, it would happen to be in the position of the goal after flipping both horizontally and vertically. So maybe that's just how I set things up. Maybe I gotta start by eating, then I could flip. But I'm gonna back up so I can push this over one. That way I can actually get it onto the island like how I was talking about. Because now I have plenty of room to push up here this far. Back it up again and I can eat this again. Oh, beautiful even lines up perfectly. Well, there we go. Puzzle solved. Yeah, another really good puzzle. I would love it even more if I didn't already solve a puzzle like that. So this seems like the previous puzzle, but taken to an extreme. It's an interesting, like, kind of set of steps here. Stepping stones, almost. I think I actually see what this puzzle is trying to get at right from the get-go. See, if you're trying to transport the reverse C and the reverse L across the gaps, you would think that you'd want to transfer this one on the left side, and this one on the right side. But right from the get-go, I can see it being much easier if I swap the sides of the shapes. Swapping them is a little tricky, but it's overall fine. Because I can almost think about this idea, okay? 
Actually, before I go into my plan, I actually have to swap the L piece. So I actually have to flip it vertically first. Now that I've got all the pieces in place, this is my plan. First thing, I'd eat the horseshoe, and I'd want to eat the elbow, but actually, I guess it needs to be pushed up against the wall somehow. So I was thinking maybe here. Do I have the distance for this now? This might change things. It actually does change things. Awkward. Consider this position. It's really cool, right? I eat the entirety of this worm and then start socking the other worm, except it gets pushed out of the way. See, it would be nice if I could sock that worm and then just roll up. But then part of the fix would kind of come from the idea that I could just take the elbow worm and push it up against the wall so I can actually sock it properly. However, then I then cannot reach the start of that worm. But I think I could flip it into place. So maybe I gotta just take advantage of this, this flip somehow. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Wait, if I start here, and then roll, no, it still doesn't work. Oh, I didn't expect that. Actually, why does this roll? Anyway, I think this movement is very important. I just need to do it without the elbow piece in a way. So I'll come out here and do it first. Because I think just getting that into position is important. Because now I could probably get that worm in position and then still do the roll of my dreams. Now I'm kind of stuck here. This is too long. Oh, yeah, I can't get back. Maybe go back to when things were being socked. Because then I could roll back here. Oh, if I pull forward, I could then back out this way. Okay, that's cool and all, but the elbow piece is backwards. So did I make a mistake in the first place? Yes, I did. But I should not have flipped the L worm in the first place. Yeah. The more I think about it, the more I did not need to tamper with the positioning or orientation of that. Because one thing I can do is just eat this L piece and then come on over to this C piece flip it now i don't like how the c piece is floating maybe keep messing around with the, the positioning of the c piece because this works too yeah and there we go i feel like it, the puzzle is basically solved now just gotta make sure i don't accidentally knock either into the void and i'm good there we go so yeah, all right, kind of very slowly came to the idea. I like came to really close to the idea at first, but then had to refine it, but it's good to get it done. The six cactus door. Oh, is it cutscene? What is going on? There's worms around the cactus.